Why are you involved with Payne Stewart? Do you live, live near Heathrow? No, I don't. I live under the flight path, but I live in central London. Um, I'm involved with Plain Stupid because they're trying to stop aviation expanding so that we can begin to even attempt to reach those carbon targets that our government has signed up to. We're committed to an 80% reduction. If we build a third runway, that will mean that all other industries have to reduce their carbon emissions to zero. How is that possible? It's not possible. So the idea that this government is committed to stopping climate change is farcical and it's showing the world that our, act, our words don't mean anything. This year is a big year for climate change. We need to show that actions can, be, can follow through from words and we need to show the rest of the world that rich countries that cause the problem of climate change can lead the way so that the poor countries suffering it can benefit. It uh, can be argued, and I know it will be argued, that we've walked straight into the trap. Here you are on the television uh, giving plain stupid's ideas once again. But l isn't this just a rather silly stunt? Well, it's a light-hearted way of making a very serious point. But as I said, democracy has failed us. All our MPs are not being represented in the, in the decisions that government is making. There isn't any other way. I don't want to get up early in the morning and go and throw custard over Peter Mandelson. But quite honestly, nobody is doing anything about the fact that this unelected individual is putting the interests of business before people and the planet, before millions of people who are going to lose their homes as sea levels rise, are being displaced because of desertification. Uh, this is very serious, it's a very pressing issue, and yet everybody's standing around and applauding people as they make political capital out of pretending they care about climate change. Well, I have to live in a climate change future. My children will have to live in a climate change future. I'm not going to stand around and, and applaud whilst people let our last chance go to waste. Um, I, we're getting a lot of texts on this already. Um, one of them says, you're a silly cow. Why are this yuppie sounding so pleased with herself? I, I'm not a yuppie. Well, no, you I'm have a job. A, um, yes, I have a job. Of course I have a job. Otherwise, you'd accuse me of being a scrounger on benefits. Um, can I ask what your job is? Yeah, I work for a charity. And in, in terms of stunts like this, I, you were involved, I think, uh, Jeff Hoon was interrupted during a speech last week. I think you were actually there as well. That's right, because uh, Jeff uh, Hoon has also overridden the, the overriding democratic process um, to bring in a third runway, and he's also been in collusion. As Plain Stupid have shown through um, the, the documents that, that have been requested through Freedom of Information, we've shown that BAA helped write the consultation that, that, that the Department of Transport um, ran on the third runway, so he's also complicit. And we also can't stand up and uh, we can't stand by whilst Jeff Hoon stands up and says he cares about climate change and, and, and does nothing about it. He's uh, democratically elected. Uh, you, you're not. Uh, using soup, it, it could be argued, is, is not only childish but perhaps uh, a rather devious way to get around what we have, a democracy. It's direct action and direct action historically has been a major way that we've got change. I mean you can look back historically th through the, the suffragettes, through the miners strikes, through all of the major changes. Yes, some of it is about putting yourselves in the way as we have done, as Plain Stupid has done, putting ourselves on runways, um, directly reducing carbon emissions and some of it is about debunking the lies and spin that some people have the opportunity to um, put across to the rest of the world. Yes, we are using the media, but Peter Mandelson is using the media. He's not elected. He's not working in the interest of people on the planet. He doesn't have science behind him. 90% of scientists now agree that climate change is a very real threat, that it's already occurring, that it's man-made and that it's going to, our last chance is going to run out within the next 10 years. So I ask you, what else are we supposed to do when democracy is failing people in this country you have to resort to any means necessary as long as it's peaceful and as long as it doesn't harm other be uh, human beings as this hasn't well so you say you say that but actually if, if you're walking along the street and someone throws a, a liquid over you who knows what on earth it is there must have been a moment for Lord Mandelson where he was if not frightened or terrified but certainly very concerned I mean is that really what the, the way to behave I told him it was custard when I when I did it and um, like I say it's not something that I would be doing if I felt there was a democratic process to participate in but it's an action of last resort because the third runway will rule out any chance that we have of stopping climate change and that will undermine the lives of millions of people in the future of this yeah. planet um, so within, min within minutes of this uh, he was doing a live television view he was laughing it off I and mean, that's yes. probably the worst thing he could have done for you was it no not really we expected Peter Mandelson to laugh it off and spin it off. He said he didn't know why this had happened. He does know why this has happened. He's an expert at using the media. Um, he takes advantage of, of his benefits, of the privileged background that he has. Uh, you know, you can talk about me being a yuppie. I'm no such thing. I've got a very normal background. I'm from a state school. 
uh, Peter Mandelson has had all the benefits that, that this country affords to him, and yet he's working in the interest of business. And I think an awful lot of people out there will say, Peter Mandelson had it coming. Everything he touches turns to sleaze. So why are we allowing him to stand up and talk about climate yeah, but, change? Uh, did you actually ask at any point to see him? Uh, yeah, I went and spoke to him, and that's when I threw the stuff over. Yeah, no, no, but uh, beforehand, I mean, did you use the demo democratic process that you say isn't working, but did you at any point write to him and say, I'd like to talk to you about this? We've absolutely engaged at every level. We've been writing to the government uh, over and over again. Peter Manderson has been brought into this debate very late, and actually his official role um, hasn't been, he hasn't been the person that we, can be, we should be speaking to. But yes, we've tried to talk to all members of the government. They will not meet with us. They'll meet with BAA. Um, Peter Manderson met with BAA uh, four or five times in a period of month, as the, as the mail showed. But they won't meet with us. They won't meet with the people of Sipson, whose lives are going to be completely destroyed. 700 homes bulldozed if the third runway gets they built. Are. And nobody wants this runway. So why would we stand by and applaud as he lets our, our planet go to hell? Leila, thank you very much for joining thank us. You. That's Leila Dean there.